What is a demand package and what should you expect next? If, if you're watching this video, it's because we've sent you a link to this video. You're probably one of our clients. We're probably chatting on the phone or in person and we're, we're mentioning demand letter, demand package, and you're probably wondering, well, what the heck exactly is that? So I wanna take a few minutes and show you. Um, so what I'm showing you right now is a, it's an actual demand letter. It's one we sent out today. It's for a client of ours. Um, today's January 29th, 2019. And you can see that I redacted a bunch of the information you know, because it's, it's our client, uh, but it gives you a good visual of what to expect. And the demand letter, it's going to be the cover letter on your demand package. It's a cover letter to the insurance company that usually, and it's a cover letter where we're going to the insurance company and we're letting them know that we're ready to start your claim. And while we're doing that, we need to tell your story, right? So that's what this is here. This is a story of our client, uh, of her accident, you know, what happened, and her injuries in medical, and in her case, um, what happened as a result of the accident, what was taken from her as a result of the accident. And, and in some cases, we're gonna wanna tell your story before the accident. Uh, in some cases, we're gonna wanna tell your story if there's lost wages, we're gonna wanna talk about that. Um, but that's the gist of it. We wanna tell your story uh, to the insurance company so they understand who you are, uh, where you were, what happened, and how you are now, and why the insurance company need, needs to pony up and, uh, and pay you for what happened. Uh, you can see this is kind of lengthy uh, in this particular case, and usually is with the letter. Um, and what you can think of with this demand letter is you can think of it as the cover letter uh, for all of your, um, all of the supporting documentation that tells your story. Right. And so, for example, that can be uh, that can be medical records. That's usually a pretty big part of a demand package. Uh, it can be lost wage records. It can be diagnostic medical records such as MRIs, uh, X-rays. It can be it can be and usually is the supporting images of the MRIs or the X-rays. Um, but it can also be things related to the accident itself, such as uh, pictures, um, property damage estimates, um, 911 audio. A police body cam video, if that's available in certain cases, a video of the scene. A lot of times we're getting video of the scene of the actual, uh, actual accident. It can be video at your treatment provider. Sometimes with certain invasive procedures, you know, a surgeon may, may, may videotape it. Um, and so we have that information as well. If there's pictures of you and your injury or any of the treatment, You'll probably have supplemented that with us and so we may turn that over too but you can just think of it as everything that we need to give um, to tell your story the best that we possibly can and so uh, to, you know to sum it all up the demand letter is our formal pre-suit offer for settlement we're telling your story supplement whenever we can uh, we give a timeline for the insurance company to respond it's usually 15 to 30 days it's it's usually 30 days um, but sometimes we can move it up for good reason and it's kicking off negotiation. And so uh, it be, as soon as the letter's out, before those 30 days are up, you're going to be hearing from us and we're going to be chatting with you and letting you know exactly what to expect from here going forward. Uh, thanks a bunch. Take care.